All right, well, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, take a photograph and remove the background and put in a new background and then change the transparency on any of those elements. So we'll go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna load my cursor highlighter so that you can see where I'm going a little bit better. The first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the background I don't like. So let's say I have kids designing a book cover and I chose this template. Canva has a ton of book covers that you could use for projects. So I've just loaded a template. I'm gonna delete that background. Now I'm ready to add my own background and my own picture, and I can change this. So maybe I want that to say Tara Conover. Um, maybe I want that to be something different. We'll get to that in just a second. But now I've got this template ready to add my picture. I'm gonna go over to Upload Media, and I'm gonna bring in any kind of JPEG that I would like to put on my project. I'm gonna go ahead and click over. I just have a picture of Denali and her friends um, that McKinley took. I just quickly grabbed it, but I really don't want all this background. I'd like to remove it so that these three girls are kind of floating on my background. All I have to do is click Edit Image Background Remover. Give Canva just a few minutes and it's gonna kind of read those pixels and take away that background. The other thing that you can do is now, if it needs a little adjusting, you can play with that. Or you can play with some filters too, okay? So, now that I've got that, I'm gonna take this out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to add a new background. So, I go to Elements, and because this is kind of a boho vibe, go ahead and add in. I searched macrame earlier so that it would pull up. I'm going to bring in that background. And then the last thing I want to teach you about today is transparency. So if you bring in a new background, you can play with the transparency. Oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. Let me bring them back up. So I'm going to click my background and transparency, I'm gonna slide that down so that I just barely see the macrame. I can go back to my picture, scale it any size that I want, but now I've got this nice background for my book cover that can be even customized even more. And don't forget, kids can also make their text on their book cover match the photograph they just uploaded. We learned that in the first session, but again, you just click the text and then it'll say over on the left, photo color. So I'm just gonna pull a color right from my photo so everything matches up and it looks like I'm a professional designer. So there's your tech, tech tip for the day and I hope you can use that.